Ashton Silva. Chipped up by Revelo Rios. Chest Whoa. it back to ball. chance to take the lead and it might be even worse for Brazil I mean you're gonna make that that kind of mistakes look at Marcelo the two outside backs first Alves and their Marcelo trying to get a little too tricky and it cost them does Allison get the tiniest bit of touch here no down goes Cavani Earlier, we saw Colombia and James Rodriguez score on a rebound. Cavani looking to take care of business. Whoa. And he does. Driving it low to the right of Allison. And the keeper can't stop it. 1 nothing Uruguay. Cavani is on fire, scoring goals everywhere with his club and now with the national team. The second, the second leading scorer in the history of the uh, national team of Uruguay. What a, what a, what a this is not the bandbox type stadium where all of the fans are right on top of the playing field. It is rather open, but it feels as though Brazil is being swamped at the moment. And when you're growing up in soccer, the, the coaches teach you how to kick a penalty kick. It has to be strong, low, difficult for the goalkeeper. And he did it perfect. Do you watch the keeper? Do you look for a lean? Or do you have your spot when you step up? You have your spot. They know uh, Brazil, Uruguay. Uh, they are they are having a, a, a great qualification. So there's a chance. Blast Whoa! It up and into the corner, slot it into the middle, and take that back to China. Paulinho with his seventh career goal, and Brazil has tied it up. What a goal, Phil! Unbelievable. Mentioned Arevalo Rios and his normal partner in the past, Diego Perez, more defensive. Vecino's in there next to the Veracruz man this time, and there is a huge gap for Polinho. Oh, and, you, and you can see, I mean, when you play against these kind of players, you have to be aware every time, you know, it's like no matter what they're going to try to score, tie the game, go back to the game. And that was uh, a play who don't, we don't see nothing. Again, Brazil keeping the pressure on for Mino on the turn. Rifles the shot, slapped away, Silva. Second goal of the game, his eighth of his career, and he's lifted the Canarinho in front. And look, the whole Brazilian national team celebrating that goal. They know they are making history in that in that stadium with that score. It's a lot of time to play, but winning 2-1 against Uruguay in Uruguay, believe me, it's not easy, and they know. Six times Uruguay has played a qualifier at home on the road to Russia. Six times they have won. Brazil in danger of turning that one upside down. And while he doesn't get on the board himself, credit to Firmino for creating this goal. Would Musleta have denied? Well, we'll never know. But Firmino and Paulinho combine, and it's Brazil 2, Uruguay 1.
Well, I mean, the, the first save was amazing. The, uh, I mean, the rebound, you know, you never know. If the ball goes so strong, the rebound is going to be in front. Maybe you can lose this game. At least tie. They know they are second in the qualification. But they want to make the... Ooh. Nice from Neymar. Gets around, scoops it over, and puts it home. Topping that one over the goalkeeper, Martin Silva. A touch of class from Neymar. It's 3-1. to one. What a nice goal. I mean, you can see he he don't, he don't get nervous. He was one one against one against the goalkeeper and what a finish. I like to see this kind of uh, goals because you can learn and the kids can learn from from these kind of players. What's up? Long ball. But with Uruguay pushing forward, yeah. Coates vulnerable. And again, a year ago, Neymar maybe goes down, trying to draw the foul, maybe to get a card. But now he fights through it, and just a little grease to sneak it under the crossbar. Yeah, you're right. A year ago, maybe he he think different, like right now but um, that's the that's the leadership august and early september argentina and paraguay yeah before closing with venezuela and bolivia brazil meanwhile this may be one of their toughest matches remaining into the area across and chested home paulinho and he's got his third he came into this match with six goals in his entire brazilian career made in china and it's sparkling on the night a hat trick in el centenario that's history but also he played a, a, a good game no also because he scored three goals is because he was like the he was the guy who was uh, having the ball making the possession of uh, the midfielder of brazil Cross from Danny Alves. Perfect cross. Chest. Good. Nice goal. Molina, one of those players, part of that new generation in Brazil.